hello my beautiful subscribers and welcome back to my channel happy month of february you know it's valentine's day so i decided to do something this year since i didn't have very much to do miss single for this valentine's day so i'm very excited i have a wig i have a wig for us today and it's something I haven't done before. It's an Amazon wig. It's an Amazon wig. And not only is it an Amazon wig, it's a blonde unit. So I haven't done this in a while. So I'm going to be watercolor dyeing this unit. And I don't want to tell you guys the color yet because I'm super excited and I kind of don't know what I'm going to do. But the hints I'm going to give you are it's Valentine's Day and that's it. That's all I'm going to give you guys. So I hope you guys really like how this wig comes out. I have it in my head exactly how I want it. So I'm really hoping that I'm able to like recreate and like actually get it like that. So I'm excited. I'm going to be showing you guys the process of how I watercolor it. So of course you guys are going to be seeing the colors and I'll leave everything at the description box below. Of course, I'll be leaving the wig. I'll be leaving the dye that I use and i'm so i'm so excited i hope everybody has a really nice valentine's day this year i hope you know the little quarantine booze are still doing good and i hope the long time couples are actually actually having fun you know all that shit and if you are single then fucking hoorah to you too bitch because it is the time for you to spoil yourself if nobody gonna do it do it for yourself get your nails done get you some chocolate get you some wine and a nice bath girl anyway before i even go on a little tangent here let's get into watercoloring it i just got back from the stove picking up everything the rest of everything so everything should be gucci i'm going to be installing this unit but it's going to be inside a different video this is a two-part so hopefully you guys stay tuned for this one and then put on that notification button so way you can get the next one that's going to be up so period by the way i really like my nails i just got them done and can i just say for a minute like i got the inspiration off Pinterest, but I'm loving them. I'm loving them. They're giving such Valentine. The rest is going to be a voiceover, I believe, because I get I get things better and quicker that way. So I'll see you guys at the end of the video. And if I talk between there, then you know. But Stay tuned for the process of how I watercolor dye this unit and hopefully it comes out correct. Okay, so the first thing I do is I spray the inside of the wig more around like the lace so the way it doesn't get stained with the dye. I usually use got to be. I've heard some people use Vaseline to put on side the lace but got to be does perfectly fine and that's just so like it doesn't get stained when you dip it inside the dye and everything now i have some really hot water and i'm pouring it inside a bucket and i'm going to be pouring the dye straightly into that i'm first using the color red this is ruby red and i'm using Ador the adore dye i'll leave um the link to that inside the description box you want to mix all of that dye really good inside of the hot water so with this ruby red i'm only using a half of the bottle i just estimated just by like eye or whatever because i'm not using the whole wig red it's only going to be a few parts so i decided to only do it half of the bottle mm -hmm. 
By the way, guys, make sure you try to use some type of gloves while you're doing this because your hands will die. Like, I just got my nails done, and so I couldn't find my other gloves, and so I had to... These are clean dish gloves, but just find some gloves so you don't dye your hands and stuff like that. Once I'm done with that, I'm going on to my next color. So I'm adding a new set of hot water and then I am putting the dye in. So this color is cotton candy and this is so pretty. It's a really pretty pink. I'm using a bottle right now and just make sure you swirl all that in good. Make sure you get all the dye that could be in that bottle out. Of this color to be pink so i'm just dipping the whole wig inside of this dye now the parts that i want red are already dyed red so i'm not really worried about anything else i just want the rest of the wig pink so make sure you like dunk this wig a lot in and out to make sure you get every single part of the wig make sure you have a brush the way you can be brushing it out just so the way you don't have any blonde patches or any patches inside the wig that can be very annoying so yeah just keep dunking in and out to make sure you have all of that wig saturated in that color
now i'm just going to be adding in another half of this bottle because i noticed that i wanted the pink to be a little bit more darker and just so the way i make sure that there's no blonde patches inside there i'm putting in half of this bottle and swirling in really good and i'm gonna add the wig again dunk it lots of times so then brush it out to make sure i won't have any patches this wig will be beautiful and pink dunk like your life depends on it flip it upside down turn it around just make sure it is all the way saturated there are no spots in that wig and then you know you're done with the watercolor process So this was Amazon wig. So yes, I'm going to be doing some personalized customization on this wig. I'm just plucking the hairline a little bit right now. This wig actually came with a little baby hairs. So I'm just going to be doing a little bit more customization to make sure it like looks more natural. Now I'm just spraying some heat protectant on this wig. It is all dried and blow dried out. I am going to be styling this now. I am just going to be straightening this wig as of right now. So that's what I'm going to be doing. If you guys want to see that, then stay to the end of the video to see how it looks all straightened and everything. Thank you.
Now I'm taking my hot comb and I'm just going over the top a little bit just to make sure that's as flat as it is. This is a T-part wig once again so this is a wig that only does the middle part. 
but she's looking cute she's looking cute i am about done flat ironing this wig so this is how it really came out and i'm so satisfied you know the way the color is it is so nice and rich i have no spots on it and everything seems really good so i'm very satisfied with how this valentine's wig came out we have the top part of the wig is the ruby red and the rest of the wig is the cotton candy pink and i have in the back part like the back patch of the hair it is also ruby red and yeah i like how i dyed it and how everything decided to come out it is so pretty and i hope you guys like the color and i hope you guys followed along with the process and enjoyed it so thank you so much for staying with my video i'll see you guys in my next one have a great valentine's day be safe and stay blessed <laughs>